Hello everyone, it's me, the Royal Local Maniac. I'm back again. And yeah, as you can see, today I'm doing a review of Fantasy World Dizzy. And it's Dizzy 3. And this is like another sequel, or is it a trinkle, whatever the hell you want to call it. To me, I've said it before, and some of you may know, this is one of my favourite Dizzy games ever. If not, like, the best Dizzy game ever. I know a lot of guys out there, you know, on YouTube think uh, Treasure Island Dizzy is the best, or maybe Magic Man Dizzy, but to me, this is where Dizzy basically peaked. It just couldn't be topped. It really couldn't be. Alright, anyway, before I progress into the game itself, I've been away for a little bit now, because I've been away on a holiday, but I'll blog about that at some point or another. But, um, yeah, I'm back, and ready to do some videos. Now, I will be doing an 8-Bit Wars video. But again, um, that will be in the blog. I mean, I'm not going to do the videos like I did last time on a daily basis. Maybe just like, what, one every two months or whatever. It's just a lot easier if I just do like random review. It takes up less of my time, to be honest with you. It really does. Also, uh, the question is, why uh, haven't I joined up the um, Retromaniacs 2.0 site? It's not out of spite or out of malice or anything. Or it's because people are, you know, peed off or anything. Nothing to do with that at all. I just haven't joined up because, you know what, I left that behind because it was taking up way too much of my time. And I'm basically enjoying the place where I am now, just doing things, going out, hanging out with my friends. You know, I've actually seen you say suck a few times, and Fanny Harlow going out with them for, you know, met up for a few drinks and stuff like that. And it's just nice actually getting out and doing things and spending time with my wife, like, you know, we went away on holiday and stuff. So yeah, that is the main reason, and I've apologised loads of times, and some people forgive me, other people aren't going to forgive me, and you know what, that's the last we'll hear about that, because you know what, it's getting a bit boring really, so anyway, back to the review. Alright, so after my holiday, I feel completely revitalised and re-energised. Oh bollocks. You know what, what I didn't realise actually was when I played this game years and years ago that if you gave the apple to this guy he would tell you where to go you get this little story for me, you're so generous anyway he tells you pretty much the obvious and that's what I love about Dizzy games the puzzles in the Dizzy games were never that difficult they, they really weren't they were really enjoyable now, I've recently uh, played this on the, I think, Amiga version as well, as well as, I think, the PC version, and just there on the left-hand side, there's, like, a hidden thing where you can get, like, some diamonds and shit. Anyway. I'll tell you what, it feels absolutely brilliant to uh, be doing a video again, because I really enjoy doing them. And when I was doing them before, basically, I was doing them with about three hours sleep, because it's just, I really was. But anyway, like I said, I'm not going to go in about that. The past is the past, and I just can't be asked to repeat myself again and again. Anyway, this is what, basically, I love about this game. I know I did this before in my last video, but how amazing is that? The Spectrum version, I believe, is the only version that actually features this. It really is. And... You know what, that is an amazing touch to have in the game. And yeah, so what I do like about this, this brought back the coin finding from um, Treasure Island Dizzy. But what I do like about this, like as you saw in the beginning, it introduced the Yolk folk. You know, like Grandpa Dizzy, Daisy, Dozy, and all the other like amazing characters. And to me, this. Oh god, what the hell's happened here? It's saying, do I want my computer to restart? Now, the old me would probably would have gone, oh fuck, I've got to redo this again. I'm not going to bother. Because you know what, I can't be asked. Alright, so, pull the lever, and brakes, and I've got to be careful when I go through there. But the truth is, it's not overly difficult to die in this game. The only bit that did drive me insane in this game was um, the illusion bit. But once you've figured it out, you know what's going on, basically. Actually, the bit that does drive me insane a little bit is this crocodile bit here. You get the rope, and you've got to tie him. You know, that's Denzel. He's a cool dude. Yeah, what I would what, uh, want your opinion is, I know a lot of the guys that do watch my videos, you know, like Spectrum fans and Commodore 64 fans, but I would like to find out from you guys what you think of... Um, 
Oh shit. Oh man, I died. He doesn't talk to me. I do want to Have you guys actually played um, Fantastic Dizzy on the NES or the Mega Drive? It'd be interesting to find out what you guys actually think of that game, because I think it's um, a great game. It captured the Dizzy spirit. It's a large game. Maybe a little bit too large. And I've recently been playing it now, and and it's, it's a great game, carries the Dizzy spirit, and you know, plays like Dizzy, feels like Dizzy. Not like um, Crystal Kingdom Dizzy, which, or like a Spellbound Dizzy, which I thought just didn't quite feel right. Anyway, let's run through here. But all in all, this is a badass game, that's all I can say. Now, yep, I will be doing an 8 Bits War videos, and maybe a few of the other videos like WTF, Blast from the Past, but you know, technically this is the Blast from the Past. Um, I'll probably do it this weekend actually. Um, this weekend I'm going to go to my brother in law's house and just enjoy the last few days of work. So I've had um, two and a bit weeks off from work. Anyway, guys, I'm probably um, approaching that. Dreaded YouTube time limit. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me. For yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Hopefully, uh, it will be with an 8-bit wars. And you know what? Oh yeah. Before I go, actually, I just like to say that I did see um, Topsy's WTF video and uh, his 8-bit wars, and I thought they were absolutely fantastic. You know, I'm basically. I really hope you know that when Topsy does come back. You know, from his long, well-deserved break that he has done, because he has worked really hard, that he will come out with more uh, videos. Because it's nice, you know, that when he, when I see like Toxic do my videos, like the ape it was, and I thought like uh, he did a great job on Jack the Nipper. So yeah, Toxy, um, I'd love to see more videos from you, please, mate. And everyone out there, thanks very much. Take care. Goodbye.